Hi, BookTube. Bill Rutenberg here at the Rutenberg Library. I uh, wanted to bring you another tag. Um, I've been going through and, and watching tags a lot lately. And, uh, you know, it's, you, you know on your YouTube how you have your, your video playing and then you always get the, the preview of other videos to watch. Well, I've had a lot of Steve Donahue's old tags popping up in that, in that, uh, th that little, you know, future videos that you could watch. Anyway, so I've been going through some of those, and of course I've been enjoying, heavily enjoying his his uh, random questions tags, his, his nosy nosy uh, tags. And so I saw a tag he did, the the ten random questions tag, and he did this like three years ago. So this is an old tag, but for us newbies who just started BookTube this year, like me and many others. Uh, you know, we've never either never seen it, never done it. You know, so it's it's time to resurrect some of these tags. I've 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 told him that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start resurrecting some of these tags and bring them back. And so this is the ten random questions tag. I saw this on Steve Donahue's uh, channel. Uh, I believe it was created by J.B. Taylor of Taylor Talks, and I was trying to backtrack and find the video, and it said it no, his channel didn't exist anymore. So um, hopefully I tracked that back correctly, but uh, I couldn't find the original. But I'll put the link to Steve's down below in the, in the uh, um, description. So here we go. Question number one on the 10 random questions tag. What's your favorite meal? Now this might be the hardest question of all of them because I love to eat and I love all sorts of different types of food. You can ask my wife, uh, you know, our hardest question when we go out is where are we going to eat because I like everything. But I think if I had to narrow it down to a certain genre, it would probably be uh, Mexican food. I love Mexican food. Um, and, and yes, it's probably more of the Americanized version, but that's all right. Um, I, I love enchiladas. Every time we go to a Mexican restaurant, I get a plate of three enchiladas with the rice and beans. I absolutely love it. But I like all types of Mexican food, uh, but enchiladas are the best. We just went to get um, Wednesday, and we picked up... Um, the or the excuse me the counter for our kitchen and we were going out to eat before we did that and we stopped at a restaurant in uh, Chipotle's and had massive massive burrito it was huge it was so incredibly good a chicken burrito and um, anyway and then if I had another food I could pick I would have to go Tex-Mex and pick chili I absolutely love chili that's what I have for my birthday almost almost every year um, when my wife asks me. So anyway, all right, so question number two. What is your favorite song at the moment? Uh, <laughs> you guys are going to laugh at me. Um, the songs that have been getting stuck in my head the last several months, I would say five months, because that's, you know, with the, with the pandemic, I've been at home for five months. The songs that have been stuck in my head are not adult songs. They are songs that are frequently sang by a certain three-year-old in my house. So, uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog. Clifford the Big Red Dog. Yeah, that's one of them. Um, if you gotta go potty, stop and go right away. Little Dan Daniel Tiger for you. Stop, listen, and be safe. Crossing the street you know, Daniel Tiger again, and, uh, and then I've had some Little Mermaid songs stuck in my head, and I will not, <clears throat> I will not make your ears suffer from my singing of those. Um, anyway, it's been all little kids songs, so uh, I don't know if they're my absolute favorite, but they are definitely the ones that I have sang the most. <laughs> uh, question number three, you're given one butt to bite, whose do you choose? And by this, I am taking it that you can get mad at one person and really just kind of go off on them. I'm taking it that's what they mean by this. Um, and I couldn't really answer it. There's too many politicians to just choose one. I'm so mad at all of them. Doesn't matter what political party. I think they, they all turn everything into politics, and it just makes me want to vomit instead of actually looking at what's best for the people. And that's both sides of the aisle, but... Anyway, 
Um, number four, if you could, ch uh, if you could exist in one movie, which movie would you choose? I had troubles with this. I think it would have to be a sports movie of some sorts where I am the hero at the end. The guy that hits the home run, throws the touchdown pass, gives the knockout punch. Um, you know, I, I had some movies running through my head, you know, hits the game winning three point basket because I could never dunk. <laughs> uh, you know, there's all kinds of sports movies out there, and um, it would it would have to be a sports movie. I mean, I thoroughly enjoy them. I, I enjoy um, For Love of the Game, when Kevin Costner's throwing that perfect game, and he's got all this other stuff going on, and, and uh, you know, the very last pitch, I mean, th the game comes down to the very last pitch of whether he was going to you know, be able to throw that perfect game or, or, uh, Rocky Balboa, you know, hitting that knockout punch in the 10th round, 15th round, whatever, you know, I, I, yeah, that would be the movie. It would have to be a sports movie of some sort. I don't know if I have a particular one. All right, so let's move on. Uh, number five, if you are president and you could ban one thing, what do you choose? Now, Steve did a good job of saying, you know, explaining the president can't ban stuff. But let's pretend that I could. If I could, I would have banned, uh, <laughs> I would have banned COVID. Yeah, I know that's not possible, but I would have done it. Um, anyway, get rid of it. We wouldn't, ah, anyway, that leads to a whole nother discussion. All right, number six. Do you choose to have the Sorcerer's Stone or Excalibur? Excalibur. Number seven, your death. Who do you choose to bump off? So I'm thinking you're like the Grim Reaper is what this is meaning. And uh, being a fan of history, the nonfiction stuff that I like to read, I would choose to go clear back to World War I and bump off Adolf Hitler and just solve a lot of problems right from the get-go. Solve them before their problem. Nip it in the bud. Number eight. What indie book deserves worldwide acclaim? I got to be honest. I don't know that I read, or I don't think I've read any indie books. I mean, if they were indie books, I wasn't aware of it. Um, so I'm, I have no answer to this. Although I Number nine, what hidden talent do you have? Okay, so right now I couldn't think of any for like right now. But I was thinking back to when I was younger, when I first went into foster care and... Um, I got into baseball. That was kind of my outlet of life. You know, I watched baseball, collected baseball cards. I lived and breathed baseball. And I had this freakish talent of being able to memorize statistics. And this is not just the year 1989 when I started doing this. This is like from 1989, and I would read the back of the baseball cards, and I would know 1988, 87, 86, and so on and so forth. And I had a freakish talent for knowing um, the, the record books, baseball's record books. And I could talk with the best of them. And I could talk with adults about this. Uh, I remember when I started going to church, a church van would come pick me up. And I was really quiet and really, I just went into this, into a group home actually at that point. And uh, the bus, or the van driver was a huge fan of baseball and we started talking baseball and next thing you know he's got me he's asking me questions well what was Tony Gwynn's average in you know 1987 or whatever and I could give him the statistic just like that well who led baseball in 1984 in home runs and I could just rattle that off I could give him the top three four five hitter or home run hitters <coughs> excuse me I, I just had a real freakish talent for that. Um, now, I'm not so much. I don't know that I could remember all of it. I can remember some of them, but um, it always ends up as a fun quiz question at baseball practice. But but um, I, when I was little, I had a talent. Uh, and last question on this 10-question random tag here. Uh, number 10, you can resurrect one person. Who do you bring back? So what person would you bring back from the dead? Um, I think for me, it would be my mother. Um, my mom died when I was only 12 years old. And I was in, uh, I, I was adopted at that point. And um, 
I did not find out about my biological mother's death until three months after it happened. And so um, I didn't get to go to her funeral. I didn't get a, and, and I was still at that point, I mean, I knew who she was. I knew, that it, it's not like it was, it's not like I was taken out of the home at such a young age and I didn't remember my parents. <coughs> Excuse me. But I, I would love to bring her back just so that she could see the man that I have become, so she could see her grandkids, so she could see that I made good for myself and I didn't follow the the pattern that my biological family was, that, that pattern that our family unit was on. Uh, I didn't follow that. I made good for myself. I got a college education. I, I made the most of school. And um, I would like to... S I would like for her to see that and so to know that she was proud of me, to, to see her grandkids, see what they've been able to accomplish, meet my wife, so my mother. Anyway, not to end on a, on a uh, sad note, but that is the 10 random questions tag. Thank you uh, to Steve Donahue for doing that. I know he wasn't the creator. Again, J.B. Taylor was the creator, but I couldn't find that original video, so I'm going off of Steve's, and um, thank you for that creativity and in his answers, and I enjoyed those. Um, hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for watching BookTube. Have a great day.